Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be running you through the tips and tricks that you want to be paying attention to when setting up a scene in Cinema 4D. Uh, it's going to be briefing out the do's and don'ts and what render settings to add and whatnot. And if you just have a look here, this is a quick preview that I just quickly rustled up before recording. And you just see there's some nice soft shadows, it's kind of white with blue and it's just an all round pleasant scene to look at. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what not to do. Now this is kind of the basic way how a lot of people will do their scenes. So if you do, they just go and add a, add a plane, so they go to a plane and they type in put out the biggest number possible, which is kind of often what I do. But you just got the basic flaw there. And then what they do is they just go to text, import the text object, whatever. Uh, just type in what they want, uh, like. 1337 say because that's what they probably think they are uh, just change the font maybe to something more realistic like the original Bebas okay now we've got some real original ideas going on here now the things that people just go ahead and render out here you'll notice that it's really basic and they'll be like oh we need to add a light so to do this they'll just add a basic light you know drag it up uh, this is not what to do you know, like, just pick it up and go to shadow map soft and render it out and you see that it just gives you some sad shadows now this is what not to do in Cinema 4D uh, I recommend staying away from this uh, you see that it kind of fades out to black from the light uh, the, sh the shadows are way too harsh and it just it's just really not not, 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 not a pleasant scene to to really watch it just looks just not very professional at all whereas if I just go to file new again and if you just add a floor yeah, just go to the light tool and go to floor. And if you just go ahead and add some text, add a text object, like so. And again, if you just render it out, it'll just be like before. It'll just be bland and whatever, and it won't be much difference. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to be adding a sky. So if you go to the light tool, instead of adding a light, whatever, you're going to add a sky, and then go to render, render settings, and go to effect and global illumination so now if you render it out you notice that it will be like before however it won't be with as many shadows it won't be as soft it will be kind of more dull grey like so but even that itself looks a lot better than what it was just originally uh, but we just want to add a light here so if we can go and add a light like so just like before I suppose it's just the glue global illumination that's kind of what makes it. I'm just going to change the intensity to about 60 here. And I'm just going to make the color like a soft baby blue. Okay. And now if you just render that out. Now you'll notice that before rendering it will come up with these gray spots. The, um, the white dots are actually picking out the points of light on the image and kind of retracing that. So now if you just see it rendered you see that the text is looking really nice and um, it's really soft and it kind of looks like a dreamy sort of effect and you've got the kind of blue, grey, white diffusion and it just looks really nice. It's looking really good. Uh, one extra thing you could do is you go to render settings and go to effect and add an ambient occlusion. Uh, depending on what kind of thing you're going for, if you're going for like a soft look, uh, you can change the contrast, you can not have the contrast. If you're going for a soft look, kind of like 20. I recommend no higher than 20, maximum ray length, maybe crank up to 140. And if you render this out, what ambient occlusion does, it kind of picks out the point of light and kind of, you'll, not you'll notice that sh more shadows will start to appear. As you'll see in a second, just rendering out. It won't be as dreamy, there'll still be some shadow, it'll kind of, makes it a bit darker, makes, it a bit, makes the text a bit more bold. But that is just looking really nice as opposed to the other just basic light on a really big plane and we are coming up to the end um, that is how to set up a scene in Cinema 4D I'm obviously not the best at Cinema 4D, it's not my strongest area uh, but you know it's always good to know how to set up a scene so oh and also one thing when setting up a scene I always recommend the first thing that you do even though I didn't hear is you go to render settings and under output you change your video properties to what will match your ones in like what ones you you actually want. Uh, if you're gonna upload straight to YouTube, it'll be 1280 by 720. 
Uh, if you transfer into some other video document, uh, you need to make sure it matches so it's not stretched. Because uh, when you add cameras and everything to your animation and then it's 320 by 240, you'll notice that it's it'll just completely muck it up. And then when you change to 12A by 720, it'll all be out of perspective and you have to redo the camera again. And it's just a hassle, so just a quick tip there. So go and render again. There's the render button. And it will take a bit longer, but that's what you kind of... So you have to go through when making something decent in Cinema 4D. Uh, a lot of people wonder, like, well, oh, whoa, it takes you so long to render in Cinema 4D. I oh, know it's because of the lighting that I generally tend to use. Uh, as you see there, it's taken a good, what, 30 seconds just to render, render one frame. In most animations, I have, like, 500 or so frames, so you can imagine how long it takes. Quite a few hours. But anyway, wrapping it up there, that's how you set up a scene in Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.